Big uh, move, ladies and gentlemen. I couldn't start a Monday, you know, uh, light. Because your Monday determines the rest of your week. And I'm starting my Monday with a big... I'm killing an ant with a smash hammer. Yes, that's what I'm doing today. Because I'm joined by Mr. CEO of Joe Public, um, Pepe Marais. Did I get that right? Got that right, thank you. Good afternoon to you, sir. Welcome to Touch HD. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, you... I, I don't know if people... St- when they see you, just say, hey, hi, hey, Pepe, or they say, hey, congratulate. I don't know if it starts with a congratulation or start with a greeting. But in your industry, you are currently holding the reigning champ. You holding the, you, you, you got the championship ring, as they will say in sports, uh, for your agency winning agency of the year. Congrats on that one. Thanks so much. Yeah, we worked about five years for it, so it didn't come easy, but we'll take it. Is this like, the Louis are the mecca of advertising. If, if I'm correct, is that so? So, so the Luris are the African continent's number one. It's a premier um, advertising world show on this continent, yes. So they're the Oscars? It's our Oscars. The only bigger one will probably be the global one, which is Cannes. But this is for sure the biggest one, African, Middle East. So two things um, monumental. On the year that you win this great award, you also happen to be working on this masterpiece called Growing Greatness, a journey towards personal and business mystery. Um, Both will require an extensive amount of attention and time. How do you pull both off in one fiscal? So let's say on the first one, the Lurie's achievement, I've got a massive team around me. I've got a, I've got a, creative partner called Lisa Jasana. Mm-hmm. We've got about five creative directors reporting to us and then teams. So we've got a big team. So I can't take any of the kudos there. That's our team. Okay, congrats. Team. So congrats to your team, yes. I'll give it to the team there. And then that allows me time in the evenings between sort of sleep time and waking up time to write a little bit of a book, which was quite epic because it took me phew, about 11 months in my spare time in the evenings and some weekends to eat out. So I want everybody to understand this conversation in probably t- t- 10 seconds. What is Joe Public? Joe Public is probably the largest independent advertising group in South Africa at the moment. So we're 20 years old, we compete in the top 20 against all the big dogs. That's crazy. Now that we got that out of the way, you just see you're the business and you are, in, is this your first, um, that's my first publication. Book. I must make a quick correction. I'm the chief creative officer. I've got a, a business partner called Gareth Leck. So okay. we founded the business in 1998. Right. He's got the CEO title. Mine is the CCO. I'm and the you're both partners. Guy. Okay. We All partners. Right. We equal right. so, partners. Okay. So you so so either way, you both make executive decision that has led this business so successful for yeah. 20 years plus. Yes. But you started off as a newspaper boy at the age of 12. So there we go. So um, I come from a single household. Uh, my mother was a teacher. Yeah. And we were two sisters and a brother. And I started working at the age of 12 for income to, at times, help my mum get through the month. And I'm very grateful for it because I think that was the spark of entrepreneurism that was lit in my belly back then. I like hearing about those st- yeah. kind of stories because everybody has hit that low point in life. But I want to know more about yours and how you manage to not resuscitate, but to just rid yourself of that uh, depression and, and, and or being or being down and dust yourself and rise. How, how, give me that journey. I almost, yeah, you know, there's a chapter in there that says the worst thing that can happen is the best thing that can happen. So, so, and and I live my life by it. We even went bankrupt as a business. No. In 2009, we had nothing. Rock bottom. <laughs> as a business as a business and it started in 2006 we so are in 2018 today it's uh, not even 10 years well it's not even nine years wow so from nothing to rebuild it monday motivation yeah so th- and that nugget it's it's a pity that that i know a lot of a lot of people do come from not much but it's a pity we don't knock ourselves more in lives because mm. it seems the harder you knock yourself the higher you potentially rise so so that that's going bankrupt um, marriage not on the rocks, but not going mm. well. Health not going well. Mm. Asking myself, what the hell am I doing with my life? Gave me the nugget. You went through turmoil. Mm. And in less than 10 years, not only are you back together, mm. but you got it. You, you, you're the agency of the year, man. 
I mean, I, I will think that you got a sangoma uh, that you see, or, or, or probably you got some <laughs> some ritual that you subscribe to that we don't know. But what is that? What are those variables that makes that lady, that that man, that young business person or old whoever to say this is not permanent and I'm rising out of it? The nugget is for me is finding a greater meaning to business finding a greater meaning to your life, um, finding a purpose, finding something that, that circumnavigates jumping off the building. That doesn't even make that an option. So even when you fail, you go, well, let's fail harder, to quote. Ooh, I need to coach you. Even that, if you that, was fail, that was a quote. That was a quote. That was a quote. Oh, um, man, I was about to I, I know, thought that's yours. I, I thought you were about to own it, Pepe. Come on. Quote, quote. <laughs> but fail harder is a beautiful um, Nike statement by their agency um, and yeah so I, just, I love it are there uh, means beyond uh, just product placements are there other new ways of advertising beyond the norm that you know yeah. you will get a media buyer and uh, millions are invested and the campaign goes wrong what happens then I'm sure you've had those moments and you probably ask yourself how do we innovate and come up with new means of connecting with consumers yeah. beyond you know, um, traditional media platforms. Oh, digital. So, so, so look, let's, let's, let's just say in short, yeah. bad advertising works. So thank goodness. Even the, because 99% of the work out there is shocking. Sure. That, that, that's just the honest truth. Mm. Um, and then at the same time, I'm also thinking you and your show, I'm sure you do what you love to do and you do it in the way you want to do it. True. Um, I would love to do the kind of work that I'd love to do. So the work I personally aspire to do is work that people love and that people talk about. So our main measure is talkability, which indicates to me there's not enough good advertising because no one talks about advertising. Right. There's here and there one or two little wonders. So so I still maintain that, that longer format works better than shorter format. No one can take me off that point. Mm -hmm. People talk more about 90-minute full feature movies than about a 30-second commercial. Okay. So we're finding two-minute films online in the space on your cell phone. You can reach people anywhere with True. film. True. That's the stuff that I love to do. That's the stuff we love to do. That's the stuff that works. I'm going to ask you to pause it right there. I just spent a great week in Brazil uh, with the Minister of Arts and Culture in Brazil and South Africa and part of the conversation in the same uh, room we met with uh, the likes of your head of cinematography and audiovisual, it was in interesting. Mm. What South America is doing, um, you know, to connect with the market. And I'm going to tell you more about it when we get back. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, uh, I'm chilling with the chief creative officer of Joe Public, Mr. Pepe Marais is here. He's got this amazing book that he's about to sign to me. And on the cover, I just love this. Made me say, I need this copy. That's that. Ap apple seed. Is why we wake up every morning because we want to crack. That's my friend, man. I love it a bit. Shout out to my sister, Miss Gorgeous T with Savage. It's called If I Start to Talk. And if I start to talk, I will never stop. Especially when I have this gentleman joining me in studio, the creative, um, the chief creative officer, Joe Public. And, and you know, I think the best conversation is unfair. They are happening off air, <laughs> which is very unfair, Pepe. We shouldn't do that. I like that. But then I came across a chapter where you speak about your upbringing, your mom and your dad. Mm. Why both um, in your book as the first and second chapter separately? Because it could have been mom and dad, but you, you separated yeah. them. You know, very quickly, it's in the beginning of the book. I mm. climbed Kilimanjaro with seven black guys and girls. I just happened by chance. I was at a business dinner. Guys said, I'm climbing. Who wants to climb with? I just went, I'll go with. And it was the first time I was in a social space in minority because my friends are white friends. Mm. We spent eight hours telling each other's life stories for four and a half thousand meters above the clouds. You cannot lie that high. You can, well, <laughs> you can try. <laughs> but when you put on the spot like that and you're that intimate and small, together at minus 15 degrees right and each person told their life story and i fundamentally learned that day we are all the same we How? really are each person had such a rough backstory okay i'm still privileged by by where i come from and my skin color i, I get that mm -hmm. but there's some of the privileges that that aren't what is it's what, what it is assumed to be and what what is what, 
what makes you identify with me from a point of hardship? What did you go through? So, um, look, by white standards in the old South Africa, I grew up poor. That's why I started working at the age of 12. My father was an alcoholic. He pulled a gun on us, cocked it one night, and tried to shoot myself and my sister and my mother. Wait, wait, wait. wait. How old are you? I was three, three, four years old. You remember this or you were told? No, I remember this. So th this was... Like so, so hectic stuff. Excuse me. But, but, but when I thought about the book, the intention is I want people who come from nothing knowing my nothing is not even close to most people in this country's nothing but i just want to inspire them to make people realize i can create something doesn't matter where i come from i've got equal potential maybe not equal opportunity but i've got equal potential so let me ask you do you drink wine now you see this is the thing i want you to give me that bottle but yeah. i don't drink anymore but i'll tell you why because i was going to invite you to my cheese and wine uh pairing yes and you can give your testimony because beyond the book i feel your testimony can heal certain people yeah. um everybody's testimony i think what we go through is a some type of a prescription for yeah. somebody else that's going through it so as a business successful businessman yeah. father yeah. i think your story should be shared beyond this interview so I'll, I'll i'm in service of whoever wants me to i'll i'll absolutely come there i'll drink my glass of water and cheers you with your wine we'll and pretend I, that's I a shot i love i mean i used to love shot and <laughs> let me just say but yeah. you'll see in the book as well it's another thing that i realize if i'm going to work with children in yeah. the townships i need to i need to stand for something and i stopped overnight price tag 280 260 to 280 280 rand yeah and rand. it's all exclusive books nationwide all exclusive books nationwide and i think is in at quite a few other bookstores as well Congratulations, Thank ladies and gentlemen, so the CEO of uh, the, uh, sorry, the Chief Creative Office of Joe Public. What a great story! And um, you know, this conversation is going to be available on video. So for those who are going to be downloading the podcast, you can also get to see the book. I have it right here. But let's probably zoom in the camera. There you go. It's available right now at Exclusive Book, uh, written by Pepe Mares. In this book, what do you want touch to take away from this book? What do you want Oliswa or Mpo, if not mm. Mark? take away that there is a greater purpose to your personal life and to business and if you find that you will truly find success ah there you go thank you sir for joining us in studio and once again congrats to your team How you gon' be my fee?